Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video on how to get your Gobi lights set up with SimHub. So first things first, you need some Gobi lights, but you need Gobi lights that support Razer Chroma. Ooh. So I'll link this in the description. And these are different lights as you can see. Um, these are the ones that I've tested with. The Flow Plus light bar, they're the cheapest. They're like 60 bucks. So just look at the um, the model number, um, and then go into Amazon and just search for Gobi lights. And this is the .ca Canadian site, but I'm sure a lot of you will be American um, or from other countries. So just make sure the item model number matches this. Um, okay, so back to here. These are a little bit more. These are like 220, but they look absolutely beautiful, and I want to test with these uh, soon. And then there are other things you can get. It looks like there's a 6608 too. These look interesting. I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, so yeah, so once that's done, once you purchase your actual lights, uh, you need to set them up. You bring them home, download the Gooby a Goofy app on your phone or tablet. So iPhone, Android, just make sure it's a phone or tablet. Uh, set up your accounts, connect the light to the app and your home Wi-Fi, really important. And you'll probably need your Bluetooth enabled on your phone for this. Once that's done, you're all connected download the Gooby Home app to your PC um, and once you do that and you open it you should see the device list the Goofy app uh, under your so this is the Gooby desktop app and I have two things I also have a light bar that doesn't work with SimHub so, but this does that's the 6056 and yeah so make sure this shows up it should show up after you uh, set it up with your phone basically and connect it to Wi-Fi um, okay so once that's done really important back on your phone in the Gooby app click on the device name and this is important your settings go to settings land control click it to on so that's going to be on your phone then you should see this turn on LAN available it'll start uh, off so that'll just turn on so you got both you want to see both these illuminated and if you do you're, you're getting there okay next step now I'm not sure if this is absolutely necessary um, but I did it anyways and everything's working so but I'm kind of in contact with the creator of SimHub to you know just to see if you actually need to do this but it's not hard so you might as well do it anyways um, you want to install Razer Synapse so you're just gonna make an account I'll put the link in the description and once you install it it'll ask you to install a bunch of other stuff but just install Razer Synapse um, go into Razer Synapse under modules and install Chroma Connect and Chroma Studio. So I'll just open this is this is the Razer program Synapse um, modules if you go down here you'll see it's installed installed modules so just install both of those again I'm not sure if you need them at all but uh, guessing you need Chroma Connect um, okay and you'll see here back in dashboard you'll see connected devices and you see we have our Gobi there okay so but to get that Gobi to show up version the it'll after you install the modules Razer Synapse will restart by itself uh, now under dashboard you should see Gobi as a connected device yeah, so connected devices, Gobi, and then 
if you click on this in the app you'll see Razer so it's connected the other way around too and I have one device connected to the Razer that supports this Razer Chroma okay so we're getting all connected the apps are talking to each other almost there okay so steps seven close both the GoE Home and Razer Snaps on the PC um, okay yeah so you want to make sure once you're ready to open sim hub you're gonna close the govi app and razor synapse on the pc because you want sim hub to basically take control um, of the hardware and next step you're gonna open sim hub hey, whoops i didn't even close this so i'm gonna close this Confirm. And it takes a while to close, but and so you got Sim Hub open. And you want to go initially down to your plugins or wherever it is. I think it's in settings, plugins. And yeah, you'll see the one that says ambient lights. So you want to turn that one on. And I have it showing left menu. Oh, sorry, you can't even see that. There we go. So you open Sim Hub and in settings, plugins, um, ambient lights, turn that on and have it show up on the side. Okay, so now we're in our ambient lights. You want to choose not add light, but Bluetooth goofy lights goofy lights okay and then all you got to do is add a new goby light and boom your thing should show up h6056 flow lights plus and you are good to go and they'll work um, I've tested with iRacing and Assetto Corsa and they work really nicely um, there are some things to adjust I'm still working on myself uh, global controls uh, I, I have this auto experimental thing I haven't noticed really a difference between the light and auto experimental but I need to do more research on what everything does so that's pretty much it so you know what I'm thinking is there's room for more lights here so I think you can add like if I go back and buy this guy I can set that up in my app you know connect it to Wi-Fi and then add a new Gobi device and you know I'll have like four lights all together and then I can add you know which would be like just totally awesome I could add maybe I don't know I could add this guitar and it would I don't know, show up here too and do things with sim racing. So anyways, I hope that helps. Um, make sure you're using the very latest version of Sim Hub and I would purchase the license, you know, just because it's the best program ever. Um, and that's it. Let me know if it works for you guys or if you have some problems and uh, I'll try to help you out. So yeah, I'll post the uh, the steps for this whole thing in the description. Okay guys, thank you for watching.